Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a mobile sticky to the bottom menu as you'll be able to see in a few minutes. So for now, I have this menu on my website and when I inspect the page and I turn it into mobile view, you'll be able to see that the menu over here disappears because I've hidden it and I have this bottom menu over here with these icons. Now everything here will be customizable to your own needs. So without further ado, Let's dive right in. Currently right now, I'm in my WP admin dashboard. So in my case, I'll head over to my templates and I'll head over to my saved templates. And over here, I will click on all to display all the templates that I have on my website. And then I simply scroll to the bottom here until I hit the main header over here. I'll just add it with Elementor. Now, this is the new Elementor editor. And if you would like to see me going over on all the features and what changed exactly from the old editor, it will be popping up right now on your screen. If we're going here, we'll be able to see that our header is this. And if we would want to create the mobile header or the mobile sticky to the bottom header will do the following. So first of all, I'll create a container over here and I will choose the flex box and then I'll choose the three sections over here, but I'll change it a little bit. So all of them would be at the same width. So in this case, it will be 25%. This will be 50% and this will be 25. So I'll turn all of them to 33.33%. So they will be all equal sized. All right. So let's switch it to mobile view and over here they're stacked. So what you want to do is head over to the container, to the overall container of all these three boxes or all these three containers. And then you want to head over and choose the no wrap. There will be a line all in one line. Now, what I did in that example, I've just went into the overall container and then went into styles. And then over here, I went to the background type and then choose the classic color. And over here, I change it into black. Now, what you want to do in this case, even though you can style is totally different than what I did, head over to your elements by clicking the plus icon over here right next to the elementor logo over here and then grab the icon widget over here and then just drag and drop it to wherever you want to. Now, this can be applied both whether it's an icon or if it's the image box or an icon box, depending on what you want. Now, if I'll head over back to my widget over here and I will change it to, in this case, it was a phone, I'll click it and then I'll search over in the icon library for phone. And I'll choose it, then I'll hit insert. And then what I want to do is firstly adjust the size of the phone so it will be not so big on mobile devices. Now, before we continue, one quick note here is that when you adjust things or when you make your website responsive in general and you adjust all the elements, style, fonts, whatever, I would highly, highly recommend you to actually check it on a live phone. Usually what I've seen from experience, the best view is on iPhones, not wide on Androids, but I'm not excluding any Android phones out there in the market just as a rule of thumb that's what i found for myself to be the best but again just check it live that's what i wanted to say now back to the icon over here i said i want to adjust the size of it but before we do so i will head over to the link and i will enable through the dynamic content or the dynamic tags over here the option for a contact url now specifically for the phone number it doesn't have to be for the contact url if you don't have elementor pro don't worry you're in good hands but if you do, you just want to click the contact URL and then just choose under type the option for telephone over here. And then you just type the number over here. Now, if you don't have Elementor Pro, what you want to do, write tell and then colon. And then you want to type the number that you want to. And then automatically when a person will click the icon, it will call the number through the Android or iPhone device. Other than that, head over to your style and then head over to your size. Here, I'll adjust it to something like 24 pixels. And you can see that my icon some kind of disappeared so we'll give it a primary color under the alignment and icon I'll head over and I'll give it a color of white. Now, don't worry if it aligned to the top, you can either align it through the container over here and then just go to justify content and then center it or just wait until we fill up all the other icons and then we'll adjust the height based on the height of all the icons. Other than that, you want to copy the icon over here and then just paste it over here. And I'll paste that also over here. As you can see here, the height adjusted to the size of the icons over there. The next thing that I want to do is head over to the middle one and then just choose a different icon for the middle icon. So in my case, I'll head over and then just search for home and then I'll just click it. 
And then over here, again, head over to the dynamic tags over here and then choose the site URL, which will automatically will choose the home page of your website, or you can just disable it and then just put the slash over here. And then it would automatically will redirect your users to your homepage. Now, other than that, head over to the third icon over here and here you can put whatever you want to. A good thing would be if you're running a WooCommerce store is head over to your widgets and then drag and drop a menu card that should be good for it. Or if you would want to redirect your users to your user account page that would also be good if you head over to the icon over here and head over and choose the icon and then just type user and you would want to choose the icon that will apply to it for me it could be something like this this or this but i'll choose this one then hit insert and then you want to apply the url over here of the user account and now we're not done yet head over to the container itself and then head over to the advanced tab and then you want to head over to the position and under the position you want to define it as fixed now it will align itself by default to the top now what you want to do is scroll to the bottom here and then you'll define the vertical orientation not to the top to the bottom now it will be stick to the bottom as you can see here the next thing what we want to do is hide the tablet and desktop header now you don't have to hide it but if you want to head over to the advanced tab after you've chosen the container that contains the header for the desktop and tablet view and head over scroll to the bottom here until you hit the responsive option over here then just hide it on mobile device and then before we head over to the website one thing that i forgot to show you here is that we also have to enable or disable in this case the mobile sticky menu over here on the tablet and on the desktop so in this case you would want to scroll to the bottom here when you're editing the the mobile sticky to the bottom menu over here and then just click the responsive option and then just hide it on desktop and tablet after that click publish and then you're good to go now we'll head over to the page that we were on and i'll be able to show you the differences so i'm back here on my shop page as you can see here i have still the normal desktop header as we can see here but what happens if I'll hit inspect, you'll be able to see that this one disappears and we'll have the mobile sticky menu. So let's click inspect over here and we'll be able to see that the top menu is disappearing and then we'll be able to see that we have our mobile menu over here. Now you'll be able to see that all the images over here are going on top of the header. So in order to fix that, head over back to your editor. And then what you want to do is define the Z index differently. And if you've missed the full tutorial, well, I'll go over the Z index and what it does. It will be popping up right now on your screen. Now head over to your advanced tab and then head over to the Z index. And usually I put something like 20 and then I publish and then that should fix it. Let's head over back to our shop page and then just like refresh. And now you'll be able to see that the mobile menu goes on top of all the other products that I have on my shop page. Now, what happens if I want to see my website on tablet view? So let's check that too. So let's disable the mobile view just by clicking over here. And then let's just adjust it. Typically, tablets would be something like 1024. Let's adjust it over here. 1020. Four. there we go it's just below it and still we have our menu over here which is changing but we can see that we don't have our mobile sticky menu right at the bottom here and yeah that's what i wanted to show you in this video i really hope you found value in this video and i really hope this helped you and if it did i'd be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any tutorial that i post on elementor woocommerce and wordpress and as always i'll be seeing you in the next one